Alright, so right now it's in sport mode. Okay. Back saddle throttle response, back torque. Okay. Right. So how how do I how do I change it like on the fly? Mode button right here. Okay. So now you're back into rain mode, traction control mode. Uh-huh. I'll switch you into eco mode. Okay. Right. You just hold it. Which is going to have like anti wheel lift and everything. Okay. You're not going to have as much throttle response. It's still going to be a lot there though. Okay. Tap it again. It'll put you right back into sport. And do you have to close the throttle when you do that? Or can you just tap it? Just tap it. Okay. Because I know some bikes are weird. They want you to close the throttle and be stopped and pray to Jesus and all this other stuff just to change the mode, you know? <laughs> all right. Start button right here without rolling up back on the throttle. I felt that. Wow. There, now you got your green lights here. Just pedometers on. Good to go. Is that it 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 is that, it has like a heartbeat? Yeah, it has a happy feedback in there. What that the way you can feel it, you know when it's actually activated. Oh that's oh I like that. Okay. You can set the strength of that feedback. Really? All right. All right, guys. I'm here on the on the live wire. I'm gonna make sure I get a walk around. I'm kind of uh. Oh. Okay. Didn't get a whole lot of time to look at this bike or really do anything. Um, just kind of running behind, but uh, we're gonna do. Oh, it's so it's still in sport mode. So that's why I like to start in. There we go. Starting some sort of regular mode. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. I like this guy. He rides. Alright now. I'm on, a I'm on the live wire. Uh, initially, what I felt was the front end was a little bit heavy in terms of, you know, swinging the, the front end, you know, to straight and you're getting ready to roll out. But, um, as I'm rolling down the street here, uh, this thing feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. The suspension is fully adjustable uh, in the front and the rear. I don't remember the brand of suspension that they used, but uh, I, 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 it, it feels good. Right, right, you know, riding on, you know, what we're riding on here. Uh, I'm reaching for the clutch. Reaching for the clutch. Ah, oh, this thing. This thing has power. Now I did see it's rated for 105 horsepower. Hundred and five horsepower and it feels it. Oh my god, this thing is actually quite good. In terms of acceleration. And let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I feel that that that, that front end just doesn't wanna it's uh it, it's it's like it like weights up a little bit which uh isn't bad you just gotta you just gotta know what to expect yeah it kind of pushes you like it kind of pushes against you which makes you run wide a little bit now i am in i think he i, for, I forgot what the, what he called the mode um i forgot what he called the mode but Put it back in sport mode.
said regular road mode. Okay. I tried that one on the way here, and I figured I like to try, you know, all the modes and see, see you know, what the difference is. Okay. All of them, but really eco, because I pretty much know what eco is going to do, you know. Yeah, eco is going to turn up. It's going to lower your throttle response. Mm-hmm. Lower torque. It's going to turn up uh, throttle regen. Right. So, and I'm sure you felt it when you let off that throttle. Yeah. It was slowing it so yeah. down. I like, I, I like, um. Uh, the regen it, it simulates engine braking pretty pretty good you know let's see what's this button is this uh okay so that's your trip yep that'll take you through your trips and everything on that okay and then is the traction control uh okay so you can turn that off right there i'm gonna turn that back on <laughs> and cruise control and you can connect your phone to this connect your phone to the uh Right there to the screen. Okay. You connect everything back to your headset. Right. You can actually pull your navigation onto the screen, your music, oh. and everything through the uh, live wire app. Okay. This is a t this is a touch screen, right? Okay. Maybe I just uh I don't know how to use it. Or maybe do I have to um put the kickstand down or something? Yeah, put the kickstand down. Okay. Where is it? All right. Yeah, so you can go right here in the settings. You can actually go in and customize your ride modes. Ah. Oh. So. Ah, uh, you can you can change the amount of regen you like. Yep, you can set up regen. You can set up your power, the throttle response, and even set up traction control. Turn it up on high, turn it down to low. Okay. Nice. I like that. We'll see what that feel. What this what this feels like. I like I like that that setup. Everything on a hundred. <laughs> That's custom A. There we okay. go. And then it has a okay. So eco mode is is called range mode. Yeah. And oh, let's see. Appearance. Pretty straightforward. Oh, you can have a digital. Let's see what that looks like. Press uh, this button. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that's about. I like the analog one though. There you go. Okay. All right. Jesus. This thing is freaking fast. I like this thing. I can't I can't lie. Now the front end I know the front end is is kinda heavy. They does Harley do that on purpose? Do they want to provoke a certain feel out of the bike? Well, so the reason why for the weight distribution on this bike, mm -hmm. the way it's designed, is of course you got your battery high. Right. All right, so everything right uh, from your thighs down to your knees, uh -huh. really down halfway to your shin, is your battery. Right. See all your heat fins there? Yeah. Everything down at the bottom is the motor. Ah, uh, okay. So you got all that weight low and forward, and that's to keep the front end down. Yeah. Okay. Cause I I can I can feel that. It feels like the exact opposite of my bike, where the front end is really light. Right. It it just you can just do this, and I, that was one of the first things I noticed. And I but I noticed that on a couple other bikes, and I get that explanation uh makes sense. You know, and the riding position isn't isn't bad. It's uh. I watched the video and the guy said it's like it's like a uh, what do you say a power cruiser and 
and a, it's like a power cruiser and a sport bike put together kind of uh, and I and I can see that it's not exactly a sport bike but it's not exactly a cruiser either in terms of uh, how you sit go and this is a 15 kilowatt hour battery I believe uh, so that's a uh, that's okay so it gives you battery temp there okay I really like that little that little heartbeat it has all right so playing around in this parking lot a little bit uh gentleman to uh took the time took some time to uh, show me how to set up a uh, the different modes and uh, set up a custom mode so right now I have uh, I'll show you a little bit I have 100% response 100% region and there's another one that's 100% so when I was in uh, sport mode or uh, regular road mode it didn't give you a hundred percent region you know it was like somewhere I think around 30 30 percent but um, the hundred percent region feels like a bike with a lot of uh with a lot of engine braking like this is like engine braking first gear from like 50 or 60 but i was only well i guess i was going like 50 then so that uh that makes sense uh i want to talk about the brakes but i think this bike has been uh really really uh this bike has been put through a lot so the brakes good lord yeah the brakes uh need to be uh replaced because they were i don't know if it, it let's see it they start to judder a little bit so i'm not gonna fault the brake the, the the bike for that um but we are showing right now 90 miles of range and we're a little bit through that now when i got it it was only at like 85 percent um but now that i have full region on it'll be it, you know i guess we'll see at the end of this uh uh what kind of what kind of uh range we we p potentially got back you know it was showing 82 percent right now battery temp is at 73 and i don't know how to read the 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 fuel economy gauge it says w slash h which i i believe is watt hours uh watt hours to mi slash miles i'm gonna say and it says 122 122 now the thing i really like about not having a clutch is when you're trying to slow roll the the electric part of the bike god this thing is just this thing is kind of vicious the like you you can just dial in a really small amount of torque uh to keep the bike you know just having just enough power um to you know help you stay up which is nice now having regen on a hundred percent you need to be kind of mindful that regen is at a hundred percent because literally you twist off and she is slowing down that look, look how fat all right i'm gonna get up to him and then i'm gonna just let i'm just gonna let off completely into this corner look how look how my look it's it's breaking me into this corner it slowed me down too much i would say so you know if you own this bike you know you'd have enough time to play with it and find you know how you like the region uh, but i do like this response uh it, it, it reminds me a lot of my bike in terms of just how ready it is you know this is like my bike in like second gear at, at like 40 it's ready to go you know let's see i wonder if we're going left Oh, we're probably going right yep um, 
the response on this thing is insane and when I was driving riding around the riding around the parking lot I was riding around the parking lot and uh, traction control was just screaming at me and I have it on low forgot to mention that traction control is on low now you can uh, you can turn traction control off right here with that button this, 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 this thing is so weird I mean not having a clutch is just yeah I like this guy this is a demo day he's taking the time out of his work day to take me on a ride and I'm not even buying the bike you know and I, and I, I told him what I was doing it for I, you know I was figured just just be honest no point in lying and then, you know making somebody think you're gonna buy something that you're not you know I told him doing this purely for YouTube and for the experience so yeah we're gonna take it through there's a nice twisty portion over here uh, I'm gonna take it through so this will let me see you know a little bit what the suspension is like and I'm glad crash control is still on. I really would hate to take this bike home with me today because I think it's like 30 grand. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will figure out the actual price of this motorcycle and put and put it on the screen. Uh, but uh, t the tires should have a little bit of heat, not a whole lot, not as much as I would like. Uh, please turn, please. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He told me to have fun, so let's do it. Okay. Okay, now I felt it. I felt it uh, cut back a little bit. Traction control cut back just a tad bit. And then it rocked me out of the corner. Goodness gracious. This is like the perfect corner in machine where you just sit it down into the corner find your exit and just explode out just ex just absolutely explode out and once you figure out you know like if let's say you turn traction control completely off then you could probably get on it a little earlier because it definitely definitely limited me and I need to get a little a little uh a little pull ski because we right back we back here all right so we're gonna do 30 no no let's do 20 to oh, my Jesus golly this thing is freaking quick <laughs> alright guys this is, uh, this is gonna be a pretty short one um here at Falcon Fury Falcon Fury HD and uh I'm not sure this gentleman's name but I, I think he's the one that handles all the, the the rides and all that good stuff so good guy and I like the way he rides so give you, give you a quick walk around quick walk around so there we go Harley Davidson live wire I believe the battery is 15 kilowatt hours um Brembo front brakes. I did. I did know that. I forgot to mention that Brembo on the front. Let's see about the rear. That's nice. Brembo on the front. The rear doesn't look like a Brembo. Oh, it is. Brembo on the rear. That's nice. Oh, the suspension is actually Showa. That's nice. I don't know much about Showa. I just know it's the good stuff. So here it is. I'm going to get all the actual specs and all that good stuff and put it on the screen. Uh, LED front light, which is nice. I really do like the way this bike looks. It looks like, uh, it looks futuristic, but it still looks like a Harley. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. You got any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Later.